A valley man says that his neighbor's property has become an illegal dump site. He tells us the owner hasn't come around in over a decade now to clean that mess up. Yeah, now the county is stepping in to force owners to clean their lots. Tracy Bragg has a story. The county administrator says it's important for the cleanup cost for these unkept properties to go to the property owners. Sure, the dream of our life, you know, to have a place to live. Leonardo Olguin and his wife bought this Rosaka side property decades ago. Several years later, they were forced to move to San Antonio for work. A month ago, they returned to the property and found this. Their home was looted and their neighbor's property had become an illegal dump site. Olguin says that dump is creating an unhealthy situation. Yeah, there's all kinds of uh, vermin, you know. There's uh, possums, there's... Uh, um, Rats, there's snakes, a bunch of rats. He says mosquitoes are also a problem. He's working to rebuild his home one step at a time. However, his neighbor is nowhere to be found. The director of Cameron County's Environmental Health Department, Gustavo Olivares, says Olguin's next step should be filing a complaint with his office. Then once we determine the violations and we conduct our assessment, then we will send a certified letter to the property owner advising them of the violations. Olivares says property owners then have 30 days to fix the violations. If they don't respond, they are sent a citation to appear in court and ordered to pay a fine. Cameron County's administrator, David Garcia, tells us if the county is unable to contact the property owner, the county will decide on a case-by-case -case basis to clean the property at the property owner's expense. Picking up brush, whatever it may be, collecting tires, we document all that and we um, and we make sure that uh, we put a cost to it. And then we issue, uh, and then we work with our legal department to issue a lien on that property. Garcia explains when a property owner returns to claim their property, the lien must be paid before they can receive a clear property title. He tells us this is an important step in ensuring that taxpayer dollars go to county improvement projects. Old Gein tells us he plans to file the complaint as soon as possible. Garcia also says he wants to remind property owners that it is their responsibility to keep their lots up to code. In the studio, Trace and Bragg, Channel 5 News at 6.